Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. I am your host, Renovate. And, um, yeah guys, so listen to this. So they updated, they had a major update, um, on Thursday. I don't know what day this is going to come out, but that, that was on Thursday. And, um, and, and it actually made the game run a little bit smoother in multiplayer, and that was the whole purpose of, of the update, actually. But then... Uh, as we logged on and started playing around, the connectors didn't work, and it didn't matter what you did, they didn't work. Now there was some there were some discussions on the uh, Steam forums uh, in regards to it, and some people had some you know ways of getting around it, but they were kind of ridiculous in my opinion. And uh, so that's why I haven't recorded in a while. And so then I guess this morning they put out a hot fix for it, and everything is working. The problem that I was having, that I had, uh, we logged on after the update, and I tried jumping so we could get to our new home, and these ships disconnected, and they flew out the back of my ship, and basically blew up this whole entire area. So, now they're not, and every time I log on now, though, this this uh the thrusters are on and i don't know how to turn those off and if you guys know if you could let me know what's the best way to do that Let's see if there's anything in here that says that we can do that <sighs> show sensor show antenna range show 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 i don't want to see show anything i want to see controls um cockpit Control thrusters, main cockpit. Um, I just need to find a way to turn these thrusters off every time we get in here. So let's turn these thrusters off. And let's turn all of the... Why is it not showing the other thrusters? Hmm. It's not showing the thrusters that are on this ship. That's okay. Alright, so what we're going to do now... I backed up the server before I logged on. And we're going to actually try to get to our new home. And I have it marked because I found it. And it is 4,000 kilometers that way. Our Earth is that direction, right there. And so we're going kind of in the opposite direction. I found an abandoned ship that's right there. There's nothing in it. So... Uh, let's turn... that's already on. Are these on? Yeah, they're on. Alright, let's get out here. Okay, so they fixed the third person view, which is nice. Alright, so I want to aim... this way. And we are going to get to our home today. Hopefully everything stays in the compartment. But So we're going to check this out. Let's do this. Hopefully. Cross your fingers. <laughs> this, game's, this game sometimes can amaze you. Alright. Let's jump out and make sure everything is still with us. Now see? The thrusters came on again. <laughs> so I don't know how to turn that off. You guys let me know. I, I, Nikaville that I play with uh, told me that there's a way of doing it, but she couldn't remember. And I can't find anything in here that tells us that we could do that. 
Um, like I don't see anything. Control panel. Just make this the main cockpit, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Oh well. So now we got fly a little bit, right? We got three hours of battery life when I have a uh, full thrusters on. And we are sailing through the through the ocean of our galaxy. You can see where we're at. You see that weird line that goes across I don't know if you guys hopefully we'll be able to see that when I when I edit it, but you see that? I didn't have that before the patch, but now I have it. It's kinda like it screws up the graphics or something. I don't know. It's just weird. So we are flying away from that guy. So what happened was, what I was saying is, uh, after the update, we jumped. On, everybody jumped on, and we started playing. And I jumped, and my ship blew up. So we backed. We uh, did a, a rollback, and so we logged on again. And I jumped, and everything was fine. I jumped three times, made it all the way to this planet. And um, by the time I got there, uh, there was a bunch of ships that warped in with me almost on top of me and there was actually another uh, computer generated ship that didn't have anything to do with pirates it was just an abandoned fighter ship and I went to f look at it because I wanted to actually capture it with my little ship and I think that it was actually a decoy because as soon as I got close to it these assailant ships popped in right away they were only like two kilo kilometers away so I raced back to my ship um, and we jumped, and I blindly jumped, and that blind jump uh, destroyed everything. So, um, I'm glad they did the the fix. So we're we're gonna head to this is gonna be our home for now, out away from everybody else. There is an alien planet like right there though, so that's not very far for us to go explore if we need to go explore some. But we're gonna go here. This is where we're going to go. What are we up to? 68%. Alright, that's fine. Now, the one thing that my ship doesn't have is landing gear, now that I think about it. So we might not be able to actually get down on a planet. Um, I never thought about that. <laughs> so we might have to pop out and, and put some landing gear on our ship. Or we might just have to find a meteor that's close to one of these planets. Now, I don't know if all the planets have the same gravity pull as, as the normal Earth does. Uh, or if different planets are different. So we're going to have to explore that, too. And they'll probably get different atmospheres. I know I, I put these planets in here, but I don't know. But we're getting close. So I'm probably going to jump here and then take a cut and then wait so we can jump again. That would probably get us pretty close to the planet. Alright guys, let me show you what I got going on here. Uh, we have finally made it to the planet. And I went ahead and brought our other ship over here. And it is here. And I went ahead and brought this one with it. So we have all our ships here. I am docked above this icy planet. There's the regular planet there. And then just over there is another alien moon. There's another planet over there. And then there's another alien planet over there. And it's got some moons. So this is where we at. And I spent uh, probably about an hour trying to figure out where the northernmost pole is on this moon because I want to try to get so that I have uh, non-stop solar power on the moon. And from what I can find, I, put, I went down there and put a little antenna uh, with a solar panel and I named it Tower North and I've been watching it and it seems to stay in the sun. It's almost like the sun re revolves around this direction. Um, so I think we're going to be good on that location. But what I want to do now is I want to try to get this ship down there and maybe even take this one down there. 
This one, though, does not have any landing gear, so we're going to have to build some landing gear on it. So let me go ahead and get some stuff real quick. We'll put some landing gear on this and just go ahead and park it down there. So I'll be back in just a minute. I just wanted to show you what, what I've been doing. Uh, it's been about three hours since that last segment, and I just wanted to kind of get you caught up. And then uh, once I get everything situated, we'll start thinking about what we want to do as far as a base. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Um, so I went ahead and went back down on the planet. And let me show you where... Um, no, that's kind of cool. I've never done this. <laughs> it doesn't matter where I walk. Oh, that's funky. <laughs> All right. So anyway, well, everything's red now. It's kind of weird. Why am I falling? There we go. Um. So our well, I was going to show it to you, but I guess. I was wrong about where the north is because it should we should be in the sunlight uh, our base is like right there not our base but my little beacon thing is about right there so I am literally confused totally confused on where the sun goes up and the sun goes down. I have no idea. I really don't. So anyways, I think what we're going to do, guys, this military escort is kind of flying away from us, and that's good. Uh, I went ahead and built a bunch of um, missiles for this thing, just in case we get one that comes a little bit too close. This thing will start firing. Um, but what I think I want to do is start building some kind of a, a base up here in space. I'm going to start by connecting it to this ship and then we'll disconnect it and, and, and let it be its own ship. And But I really wanted it to face the sun and I really wanted to figure out which direction the sun is going. So it looks like the sun is going like this so I think the sun is actually going like that I honestly have no frickin idea <laughs> I really don't alright guys so I got to where I need to be we are uh, I've kind of repositioned our base or I shouldn't say our base but our ship to a different location and I went ahead today at lunchtime uh, started building our space station and here it is. So I don't have it all welded because I ran out of iron, so I had to go down and get some iron. But uh, basically, we're going to have some large storage containers out here. We're going to set up Tim so that these store individual items. This will be like the ice, and this will be like uh, components, uh, ores, and whatever else we need. And then uh, this will be our base. Now, there was a hotfix patch that came out, and now we're having problems with doors. So, doors are killing us. So, this will be the main lobby area uh, for right now until I expand it. And then all the good stuff will be down here in the basement. And down here will be where all of the uh, refineries, or not the refineries, but the assemblers will be. I'm going to actually put the refineries upstairs. And then um, we'll have uh, we'll have uh, like our med bay and stuff up here. And then out this doorway, see, I can't get through the door. Will be hydrogen tanks, and these hydrogen tanks have um, oxygen generators already attached to them, so they can process the ice a little bit quicker. And I got them on the top and on the bottom, and that's going to be our hydrogen storage because our our future ships are going to be. Uh, hydrogen based and then uh, down here at the bottom and down on the top we have solar panels that are connected to a rotor 
and we are going to set those to rotate at a certain time so that it follows the sun. Now, once we get this built, I'm actually going to dock my ship. Uh, I might just keep it connected to my ship, and I'm going to move it a little bit more that direction so that the planet, the plant or the moons, don't interfere with the sun and the solar power. So, and then up here on the top, uh, we're going to have um, some guns here and our antennas, and I already have a Gatlin gun uh, mounted here to build. We'll have guns all around this thing. And this will be our landing platform, and the landing platform will actually come all the way out to here. Uh, and that way I, any ship can land here and um, re dump stuff off if it needs to be. So that is our base. Um, if you guys want to name it, leave me some names in the description or in, in the comment section, and I can name it after you uh, if that's cool. Uh, I'll choose a winner. That'd be cool. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I went ahead and, and welded all of the tubes. Now I don't have them all done, but that's what I've done so far. And now I'm just welding all of this stuff. So um, I don't think you guys want to see me weld. So let me finish welding. And um, I'll try to get as much as I can done. And if I don't finish, then we will continue it next episode. But at least we are home. So uh, if you're wondering, the planet, uh, the Earth-like planet, is actually on the other side of that moon. And that's the uh, the alien moon to the planet. And let's see where else. I think everybody is that way. So if somebody's coming out to see us, then they're actually going to come from that direction. And they're going to have to go around the Earth and then around to the back side of the moon to find us. Now that I've told everybody where I'm at, it's not going to be that hard for them to find us, I guess. <laughs> that was kind of stupid. Uh, but anyways... That's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to weld all this up, and uh, I will meet you back here pretty soon. See ya. So guys, I've been welding for about three hours, and the ship is uh, pretty much enclosed. I started welding out here, but I decided let's go ahead and get the ship welded. So the interior, everything is welded. I still got to get those blocks, um, and then everything down here is welded. And I had a problem where the rotor connected into the building. If you go up here, let's go out this door. Uh, where the where the rotor connected to the building, I had to um, get rid of that block. And when you did that, this whole thing like goes all whopper jog. So you can see that it's not rotated. So I'm gonna have to grind all that down and redo it all. But at least I got the I got the one on the bottom done and kind of dressed it up with some of these wall struts, these little wall girder things, and those are pretty cool. Um, but it's not really getting any sun, at least not from what I can see. But I'm having a problem with the doors, and I know Link had a problem with this. Oh, crap. Link had a problem with this, and I had to jump on and help him fix it, but it had something to do with his hangar bay doors, and he couldn't get in. Every time he tried to get in, it could kill him. And now I'm having the same problem with um, the entry doors. What is going on? There we go. With the entry doors, and yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I put a door here, let's rotate it. Hopefully I have enough to do this. Let's click that. Um, all right, uh, construction components, lots of construction components, bulletproof glass and some motors so let's go grab that out of the but when i was going into the doors it would basically kill us so let's get some motors and some kind of construction components let's put all that back and i need some bulletproof glass let's grab some of that uh, bulletproof glass i don't need that Okay, more bulletproof glass. I think I'm all out. I don't remember how much it said, but um, hopefully it's enough. Let's look. And then we'll call this a day. So we need uh, one computer and five more bulletproof glasses. Let's see if we can... Can I type in here? 
Nope, no bulletproof glasses. So we just need one computer then. Let's grab that. And there's a computer. And then go to production and get some bulletproof glass. Right there it is. Let's do like a hundred of them. So, oh yeah, I gotta turn that thing on. Control panel assembler on. So yeah, I, um, every time you try to go through a door, it ends up uh, pushing you like really far away and to the point where it almost, if there was something behind me, it would actually injure me. And that's what ha was happening in the link. It was pushing him. It was almost like there was a force field there. And see, it's not doing it now. But one of the things that we found out with his was he had his ship connected to his his floating base and um, once we disconnected the ship he didn't have any problems and I'm wondering if that's what my problem was too and we're gonna go ahead and put a door here no steel plates of course I didn't because I put them all away but yeah that's what I was running into so I disconnected my ship and now this thing is out by itself but it doesn't have a name I don't know if I can even name this yet, can I? Yeah, I guess I can. Let's grab all of this. Is that all grabbed? Yes, it is. And... See, it says ship named Caprica. But we are not connected to that ship anymore. So I just wonder if it thinks... Let's see if this is thinking that it's connected. Is there anything that shows no? So, and the name of this is. Well, that's weird. Ship name large grid. That's weird. This took on the name of that, even though that says Caprica on it. That is really, really strange. Is that the antenna that's called Caprica? the antenna that's called Caprica. Alright. So we need to convert this to a station. And we'll name it, um, I don't know. I said I would name it after one of you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and name it something right now. Uh, transfer to info. We'll call it um, ship name. We'll call the ship name. Uh, we'll call it um, Rising Sun for right now. No, we'll call it Dark Dark Side because it's on the dark side of the moon. So now, if we had an antenna on it, it should say that this is Dark Side info, and we want to convert this to a station. There we go. So now it is a station, and we shouldn't have any more problems, hopefully. But, yeah, so that's going to be my ship, guys, or my station for right now, and I'm going to continue working on it. Looks like these solar panels are starting to get some solar power. Sweet, so it is working. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get this uh, set up, and then the next episode, guys, we'll probably decorate it a little bit more, and we will start getting um, some other stuff so that we can get transport ships uh, to ship ice from up there to up here and work on some drones and I want to build a welding drone too because we're going to have a base down there so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you click the like button and if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time guys we are home